Welcome friends. This particular video is for the ESC aspirants who are confused about their general studies preparation. Now many of the aspirants who are targeting ESC examination, they face this dilemma. They tell sir, yes, I am preparing for the technical part, but I am not feeling confident about the general studies paper. And sometimes they even opt out of the preparation fearing about the general studies paper. So this particular video is for them and it will definitely help them in approaching the general studies paper. Now general studies paper has lot of components which students feel difficult to approach. Like there is design and drawing and safety, there is your quality and standards, then there is material science, there is ICT, ethics, yes, there is energy and environment, there is current affairs. Now students, they tend to neglect or they don't emphasize on the fact that there is a component of your mathematics and aptitude also, yes. Now the first thing you should understand that you need not score 200 in your general studies paper. Now students who might not be knowing what contest we are speaking, let me give you some brief idea about the pattern of your engineering services examination that is ESC examination. The ESC examination is conducted in three stages. The first stage is the prelim stage. Then there is the main stage which is the written examination and the final one is the interview stage. Now if you want to go into the main stage, you have to clear the prelims. Now prelims is an objective exam, yes, and it has two papers. The first paper is the general studies paper and the second paper is your technical paper. Yes, suppose you are from civil engineering background or mechanical or electrical or electronics, then you are going to give the technical paper from your branch only. Yes. And then all the candidates have to appear for the general studies paper and students face difficulty in approaching this paper. Yes. So as I was telling that we tend to ignore that the general studies paper has maths and aptitude component. And you might be surprised to know that out of the 200 marks, around 60 marks is from your mass and aptitude. Yes. Now many students already know that or they might be getting this thing that the UPSC general studies is very unpredictable. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's absolutely true. We cannot predict that the questions will be from which portion. But when it comes to mass and aptitude, it is more certain, right? Yes. And therefore, you should target that out of the 60, I should get 50 marks because it is quite achievable. Now, another thing about the math and aptitude is that it's the common component when it comes to gate and EAC. Yes, in gate also you have around 28 marks from math and aptitude and the syllabus is almost same when it comes to ESC general studies paper for math and aptitude and your gate examination. So this actually becomes an intersection between both examination and if you are preparing for math and aptitude very nicely, so not only you will be benefited for the gate examination, but also you will be benefited for what? Your EAC also, right? Yes. Yes. So as I told that out of 200 marks, 60 marks will be math and aptitude and rest 140 will be the other papers or the subjects I can tell. So if you have scored 50 out of 60 in math and aptitude, then out of that 140, even if you score 60 marks or 70 marks, which is almost 50% of that, then you will get into a very good score of 110. You'll be amazed to know that toppers marks is around that marks only and above 100 is a very good score in your general studies paper. So you have to first remove this thought from your mind that I have to get 200 marks. No, if you're targeting around 100 to 120 or even 90 to 110, 
that's a very good score for general studies paper and rest focus you can give for your technical paper yes and from this general studies paper as i told the first focus should be what your mass and aptitude and try to get as much as marks and ideal should be getting more than 50 and then the rest subject you can target 50 percent of that so rest subjects 140 marks 50 percent will be 70 which will be very good now here when you are targeting 50 percent marks you have to understand that you have to have a boundary for your preparation because when it comes to general studies paper there is actually no visible boundaries right there is no visible boundaries if you start studying everything under the sun for a particular topic then there is absolutely no end so if you are taking a coaching for this subject so whatever is taught in the classes then you should first fix that yes i will study that much only and the questions which are given in the class or the test series i will solve that much only yes and then i will try to score maximum from that because you have to study your technical paper also and as i told in general studies you can't just cover everything under the sun yes so suppose i'm talking about one subject suppose ict or ethics or energy environment if suppose there are 10 questions from that particular subject and you're scoring you're able to solve five questions out of 10 correct then that's a very good score yes because as i told from the 140 portion you have to target 50 percent and from the 60 marks of mass aptitude you have to target 50 marks so divide your preparation into two parts one is mass aptitude other one is the rest subjects of gs if you apply this particular approach i can absolutely guarantee that you can get into 100 or 100 plus marks in your general studies and that will be a major boost to your score in the prelims for clearing the prelims and also adding more marks to your prelims because many of you you might be knowing or you might not know that the final selection will be a combined marks of prelims mains and interview so if you are able to score more in prelims not only you clear the prelims and enter into main stage but also it will help you in the final cut up score or to get into top ranks yes so hope this video has helped you if you like the video please leave your comments in the comment section and start your preparation very nicely for the general studies paper thank you very much